Um, my story began back in the early 90s when my grandparents used to take me to church and used to always hear about Jesus, always hear about Jesus. And for me, church was just a way to just kind of get out of the house. My story did not quite begin the same way. I went to church maybe a handful of times growing up, but, um, and I went with my uncle and his family, but um, for me, it was just a, just hanging out with family on the weekend. You know, I didn't, I didn't grow up with a whole bunch of different opportunities. I mean, um, but life for me, uh, it, it got worse. It got worse, and, and before I came to know Jesus, I just seen everything as just everyday life. But after, it made me stop and realize that, hey, this is, it has to be something better than this. And that was when I realized that uh, I was gonna need Jesus in order to kind of get out of a lot of the situations and stuff that I was in. I had a lot of opportunities afforded to me um, just because of, I did very well academically, and so I just, I had a lot of opportunities. But the issue for me was that I had there's, it was like so many different things that I could do, but nothing felt like it had purpose or meaning. It was just like, what's the point? And, um, you know, it was, it was difficult, especially with my family who always felt like I was like wasting my talent because they were like, you know, you could do this, you could do this. And for me, it was just like, but like, it doesn't mean anything to me. So it was, it was almost like purposeless. And so, um, you know, definitely since finding Jesus, like there's just been more purpose to my life. Um, even in the mundane things, there's just more purpose to it. <laughs> um, the pivotal moment for me in being changed was when my children were born. Um, and knowing that they're watching everything that I do, um, they're listening to everything that I say. As a father, I'm the first one that, my, that, that they see, and that can make an impact in their lives. So. Um, I knew from that point on uh, that it was, it, it was time to make a change, to make an influence in them, to tell them about Jesus. And I can't tell them about someone who I don't know myself. So it was time for me to uh, really buckle down and be the man that God wanted me to be for my children, my family. I would say similar um, with the kids being born, but also beyond that. Um, we were dating, living together, all, all of our kids were born. Um, before we were married and so it was just a moment where it was like how are we supposed to be teaching our kids the right way to live when we weren't living correctly and it was just a there was just a huge conviction and um, I just I remember the day clearly really going to him and I was like we, we can't do this anymore like we, we have to get married we have to set a good example for them and um, honestly for me with that being said the day that we got married um, would be that pivotal moment and um, it's just in all its simplicity like we got married in our living room I was in jeans I was barefoot and afterwards we had Chinese food and watch football and it was awesome but it was just like it was that moment that it was just like okay now we are living the way that God wants us to live now we can set that example for our kids and the changes have now allowed me to be able to be more available to my family allow me to be able to uh, stand on principles of Jesus, you know, of the Bible, and say, hey, look, this is what we're going to do. Um, it opened up communication. I think it also just kind of just, it's given us, when Anthony used to say it a couple of, a couple of minutes ago, just, it's just given us more purpose. Um, and it allowed us to live our life the way He wants us to live our lives, and not, um, not what everyone else says. You know, so it's given us, it's given us an identity for our family. Yeah, for, it, it's definitely brought us closer. Um, it's given us a, um, what's the word, not, not a rule book or a guide, it's given us a foundation. Um, because, you know, like I said, when it comes to communication, when it comes to mm -hmm. how we're gonna raise our kids, how we're gonna live our life, um, we are no longer looking at, 
you know, how he, how his family, you know, how he grew up and how I grew up, which was very different. Mm -hmm. And um, that was definitely a clash of, we grew up very differently and trying <laughs> to meld those together. Now we have the foundation of scripture and they're like, this is what scripture says. This is how, this is what the Bible says of how we're supposed to raise our kids and how we are supposed to live as a married couple. And so it just gives us that common ground. Um, and it makes things a whole lot easier when it's like, okay, forget that side or that side. Like, what is the Bible say? And we go from there. Hi, my name is Alan. And I'm Antonisha. And, and we've, we've been, been changed, changed by, by the, the King. King.